Tofu is bland and boring, some people say, but did you know it was first made 2,000 years ago in China? And the oldest evidence of tofu production is documented on a Chinese mural incised on a stone slab. It's still grown in popularity to this day all around the world, so it must be good, right? The process of making tofu starts with fresh soy milk. Mineral-rich coagulants are added to the warm milk to make the solids separate from the liquids. The traditional coagulant used is called nagari. However, seawater and lemon juice can also be used. The bean curds are then collected and transferred to a tofu press. Under the weight of the press, the curds form together and create a block of tofu. The more the tofu is pressed, the firmer the tofu will be. So it's a very simple and natural process using only a few ingredients. It has long been a healthy protein source for vegetarian Buddhist monks and was even a prized delicacy for the Japanese samurai warriors thousands of years ago. Now I really watch what foods I put into my body on a daily basis and having researched tofu, various studies suggest that tofu is really good for us too. It's packed full of vitamins and minerals and when added to our diets, it can promote good heart, skin, brain and bone health. Now tofu often gets a bad rep for being bland, not having a good texture, but I promise you, in today's video, I'm gonna show you four recipes that transform tofu and make it unbelievable. And each recipe can be made within 10 minutes if you're efficient in the kitchen, which I know you are. So the first dish on the menu is a surprising one. Actually, I'm gonna call it a chocolate surprise. Let's get straight into the recipe. So for the chocolate mousse, what you need to do is chop up some lovely, rich, dark chocolate into some evenly sized pieces. I'm gonna get that melting in a bain-marie. Bain-marie is simply just a saucepan of water with a bowl, a heat-proof bowl sat on top of it. Not touching the water, but just heating gently above it. And we'll put the chocolate in it to melt slowly. Okay, so we got our chocolate melting over there. This is silken tofu. Now you would never use this to pan fry. You can coat it in a light tempura batter, but often it's served on the top of ramen in small cubes because it's very refreshing, it's light, it's got subtle flavour and it's very creamy. And it works amazingly well in mousses and things like that. Now you may have seen it done before, but I think with the combinations I'm going to be serving it with, it's going to be quite unique. I'm actually going to be flavouring this with obviously chocolate, but also some peppermint too, peppermint and chocolate is a marriage made in heaven. Let's get this lovely silken tofu into my blender with some vanilla extract, some maple syrup for the sweetness, a pinch of salt, and that peppermint extract. There's some lovely flavors in there before I blend it up and add my chocolate. I'm actually gonna add some Mexican cacao powder too because I want it to be doubly chocolatey and rich. So just a couple of tablespoons of this. As the mix is blending, slowly trickle in the melted chocolate. All right guys, look how luxurious and shiny and creamy that looks. Look at that, wow. So this goes into a bowl now, just to set for a few minutes in the fridge. And we, in that time, we can prepare the rest of the toppings. So we've got that really beautiful, creamy, luxurious, smooth mousse. And to complement it, we need something crunchy. So I'm gonna make a chocolate mud. I like to use that, it's quite earthy. Anyway, chocolate mud into the blender, some chocolate biscuits, some pistachio nuts or any nuts of your choice, some cacao nibs, a pinch of salt, and some cacao powder. Blitz it all up into this like a nice, rough, crumb-like consistency. Beautiful. Oh, this isn't mud, this is soil. This is chocolatey, beautiful soil. All right, let's dish up. This is just about set, look at that. It is luxurious. And I've got some lovely cherry compote here to serve with it. So let's just dish it up, get it all in the bowl, basically. So thick and luxurious. Wowzers. Spinning this around the sides, creating a little area in the middle where I can fill it with this lovely 
cherry compote. And you can really smell the peppermint, which is actually beautiful. It goes so good with the chocolate. You know, like a aero bar, this is what this is gonna taste like. What I love is just there's a few different layers of surprises here. And just finish it off, some lovely fresh mint. There we go. Mmm, chocolate, mint, and cherry, and that nice crunch. Absolute amazing combination. So simple, so tasty, done in under 10 minutes. Mm. Dish number two is my sticky, sweet and sour crispy tofu. This one is the perfect evening meal, great for the whole family. Let's get straight into the recipe. Guys, I don't want you to get confused. I am not one of those people that likes pineapple on pizzas. That's disgusting, mm. never. But pineapple in this sweet and sour sauce is meant to be, I promise you. And we're gonna get this nice, and caramelized too. It's gonna to be beautiful. The first thing we wanna do is get our sauce cooking. Because this is a 10 minute meal, get your sauce cooking. I've already got some pre-made rice, so just make sure you've got that done too. Into a saucepan, I'm gonna add some pineapple juice, some sriracha, some tomato ketchup, a little caster sugar, and the juice of a lime. Place the sauce over a medium heat to bubble away for about six minutes. So for the all important tofu, I'm gonna to cube this up and throw it into a bowl with some corn flour. Then I'm gonna get it sauteing in some sesame oil with some spring onion and some garlic. And when it's crispy, I'll then throw in my cubed pineapple chunks. Now look at this tofu now, it's gone so lovely and crisp because of the corn flour. And obviously we're using extra firm tofu so it's gonna be meaty. And we've got the garlic in there which I kept fine, but in big chunks and that's gone crisp and roasted now. So all we need to add now at this stage is the pineapple chunks and a splash of soy sauce. Then I'm gonna add some corn flour mixed with a little bit of water into my sauce to thicken it up. Then we can serve. So we've got this lovely sweet and sour sauce now, just slightly thickened because of the corn flour. I've got to give it a little taste. Mmm, tangy, it's beautiful. That's gonna go into the tofu now. Just a little bit of it to glaze everything up. But look at that, some nice crispy, sticky, caramelized bits. And that sauce, just with the remaining heat in the pan, is just gonna cling round and get even more sticky. Oh, beautiful. tuck into this, gotta get some more of this amazing sweet and sour sauce on the rice. Look at that. Mmm, this is good. This has got those sweet and sour flavors that you really want. It's like a fake away, really. And um, what is nice, is that you don't know exactly what is tofu and what is pineapple. So if you get a bit of both in your mouth at the same time, an explosion of flavor, sweet and sour, exactly what it says on the tin. You've got to try this recipe under 10 minutes in the kitchen if you're efficient. This tastes so good. And feel free to add loads more veg to it too. Mm. So for the perfect breakfast or brunch, this is my tofu scramble, but not like those other scrambles that you see before. This is almost like a hash with potato and black beans and lovely spices running through it. It's absolutely delicious with some grilled bread. Simple to make again. You want to try this one. Let's get into the recipe. First up, what I'm going to do is finally chop up a couple of onions and a jalapeno. Get that sauteing in your pan until softened. Then I'll slowly crumble in some of the tofu. The key with making simple food and to get it flavoursome and to get it to taste like it hasn't just been made in 10 minutes is treat every element with love and care. 
with the onions and the jalapenos there, I just sauteed them until they were lovely and golden. Made sure they were golden with a little bit of salt before I put the tofu in. It's only a simple dish. Doesn't mean that we can't take care of the little things. To the pan, add some cooked potato and some black beans. We're cooking on gas now. We want to get some colour on this. I'm going to add some smoked paprika and some turmeric. Turn the heat down, then add some non-dairy milk. To serve, grill off your bread. I like to rub a raw garlic clove on the bread before grilling in a little olive oil. I'm also going to throw some cherry tomatoes into my grill pan as well. So to serve, I like to spread some hummus on the plate, then get the tofu scramble on top and serve that lovely bit of bread on the side. So if you can, always get some seeds or some nuts sprinkled over your food, just for those added vitamins and minerals. Finally, a little bit of chili oil and let's serve. Let's give this a taste. Mmm. Mmm. That is good, nice bit of spice. And just because it's simple doesn't mean you just have to throw it on the plate. Plate it up with some care and it'll look like you spent all day in the kitchen making it. Mmm. Okay, and the final dish. This is an amazing salad. I know I'm going to say salad and you're going to be like, nah, but this salad is amazing. I make this beautiful dressing, get some red cabbage in there. It breaks down. It's like a slaw, Asian style. Then we've got maple and sesame smoked tofu to serve with it. It's beautiful. This was the favorite of the four dishes in my opinion. So let's get into the recipe. So for the smoked maple and sesame salad, first up into a little mixing bowl, chop your smoked tofu into nice cubes. Now you can do this with just plain tofu, but smoked tofu adds something different. It's got a real beautiful depth of flavor. I'm also gonna add into the bowl some maple syrup, some sesame oil, and some sesame seeds. Toss it all together, then get it onto a non-stick baking tray and into your oven, set at 200 degrees Celsius for about eight minutes. So obviously these are really quick meals and I also want to save on washing up too because that takes time. So I'm going to make a lovely dressing in the same bowl that we just mixed the tofu in. The dressing consists of tahini, some soy sauce, some zest and juice of lime, dried chili flakes and some coconut sugar. Just mix it all up and you have some of the sesame that are left in the bowl as well. So the perfect dressing needs to have the right amount of acidity, sweetness, spice, saltiness to break down the vegetables. And I'm gonna be using red cabbage, so that's quite firm and I'm gonna chop it really fine, mix it through that dressing and give it at least two minutes just to break down and soften in this dressing. When the tofu is golden and crisp, remove it from the oven and let it cool slightly before serving up your salad. To serve with the salad, I'm gonna ribbon up some carrots, finely slice some spring onions, and then get it onto a big plate with some Thai basil, some fresh coriander, and some homegrown lettuce leaves. Before you have this salad, any leftover dressing, just get it on top and then mix it all up together. Glaze it all up. Mm. 
Mm. Wow, that is beautiful. You've got that amazing crunch from the red cabbage. Obviously, it's not even cooked, it's raw, so we're getting all those amazing nutrients. But it's just slightly broken down because of the acidity. That's why your dressing needs to be perfect. And then you've got that smokiness and sweetness from the tofu because obviously we cooked it in some maple syrup as well. So it's absolutely amazing. Definitely try and get hold of Thai basil. Try and grow it if you can, it's even better. Thai basil has that amazing aniseedy flavor. It just works so well with this. This is a lovely, lovely, simple salad. Mmm. Mmm, amazing. I want to say a huge thank you to Silk Mill House for letting the team and I stay in this beautiful house to film our videos for a few days. It's six bedrooms, furnished to perfection. It's just honestly, it's house goals. I've got so many interior design inspiration from this house. It's beautiful. So if you want to stay here, click the link below this video. Bring a whole bunch of friends here. It's, it's well worth it. And it's in the Cotswolds, which is a beautiful part of England. You must come and see it. So thanks again to Silk Mill House. Check out their furniture store as well, Cotswold Great, where you can get some of the key pieces, which I really love. We're gonna head there now, actually. So Silk Mill House, click the link below this video. So there we go. This is my top simple tofu recipes. I want you to recreate them and tag me on Instagram if you do. Don't forget the merch. Plants Only Kitchen merch is on my website right now. There's a few left. They're never gonna come back after it, so grab them before they go. And again, please subscribe and like this video. It means the world. So I'll see you soon with another epic video. We've got some big ideas coming for you. Let's go.